That's not a cork, is it? No, it ain't gonna be a cork and a whiskey, is it? No. It ain't no wine, mate. How do you pronounce it first? <laughs> <laughs> Tam New Tam what? Tam New Valin. <laughs> Tell me Valen. Is it Welsh, is it? Oh no, it's Scottish. Oh, it's Scottish. <laughs> Tom of Valen. Tom of Valen. Purple. Purple see, Tom of Valen. See you on a sing, single malt. I actually got this one for my dad's birthday. Oh, really? Um, so you've had it before? No, I've not. I've not tried it before. I just got him it. Are you going to open it or not? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying, but So... Is it, mate? That's it. <laughs> the f this is taken. How long has this taken us? Oh, did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> Do that again on the mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Imagine that. <laughs> Fuck you. Listen. <laughs> yeah, hang on, hang on. Mate, that's reminded me of a sketch. Little Noddy goes and has a little wash. Oh, yeah, Have you yeah, seen yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some water and he needed he did, a drink. He, yeah. Yeah, and there's no water in the wishy washers. <laughs> right, Cheers. we'll start with that. Mate, because we're not driving. Having. No, yeah, but we're not driving anyway, so. Well, not for a while. Did, hang on, I'm winking, I've got a fucking camera on me. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, dude. Cheers, brother. To the first ever podcast, if yeah. it even gets released. I'll just put this away. Put this away. When did we start oh, this, mate, mate? That's nice. Oh, I, know, I didn't even drink it. Oh, man, it's lovely. How good is that? That is nice. That is really nice. <laughs> that is nice. I need some ice. Look at the fucking legs on that way. Oh. Look at the legs. So, yeah, how long? Um, Five weeks. It's not been that long, is it? Well, if you add up all the hours, what's it took you? You can make <coughs> five. It's got to be about that. Yeah. Painted it. Painted it. We painted it, mate. We ramboed it. It's looking good. Well, I, well, I, I should have put the original pictures on before it fucking was painted. Because it looked like a... Yeah. I mean, it was nice. Yeah, it's nice, mate. It's, it's real nice. It's a good start. Yeah. Definitely. It was just like a normal whitewash bloody yeah. thing. And the echo... I mean, I know it's still, I can still hear it a little bit. Yeah. It's not so bad probably when it goes for OBS. But like right now. We can hear it more as well with the headphones, can't you? Yeah. You can hear your own voice and the headphones. Yeah. But I'm so glad now that I chose this room as opposed to the one in town. Yeah. Well, I didn't see the one in town, did I? Yeah, well. <clears throat> the what, one size in... wise or just access? Well, it was a little bit smaller than this. It was the same width, but not as long. That's what she said. <laughs> they say width's more important, mate. That's what they say. Um, but no, it wasn't as long. But the walls were like solid. It was like, it was basically, um, if anyone's been a new key before, it used to be a restaurant. You remember the Ye old Dolphin? I don't think I've ever been in there. So you know where Belushi's is? Yeah, yeah, I know Belushi's. So, ne so next door to that was an old restaurant called Never Ye went in it. Yeah. Never Ye Old Dolphin, mate, years ago, it was fucking lovely. Like, you go up there and <clears throat> it was really like the, the mood, the setting was really nice. Yeah, yeah. It was really dark and like you had little cubicle cabin type areas oh, right. and the food, mate. Apparently... The, the the actual um, chefs, they were just stoned off their heads all day. Really? They were just stoned all day and their food came out fucking delicious. I'll bet. I'll bet then, it did. It did. But then, uh, then it went, it, they like changed it up. They went all like modern, they uh, minimalistic, modernized it and shit. Right. And well, ruined it. Yeah, because that yield dolphin there was there for years, mate. And then it was like a little blimp of like this minimalistic look. Right. And clearly people didn't like it. And it just now it's just like these office blocks, you know, not office blocks, sorry. It's um where you could just rent a room, rent a, a computer, yeah. you know. And um, so it's an old building. That's what I'm trying to get to. It's an old building and the walls are proper thick. Yeah. But yeah. There, was, there was a window there, which for a podcast isn't that good. No. And also, it was get anyway when you put a blind up all that. Yeah, there was a blind on there, but <clears throat> and the seagulls, mate. Oh, mate! 
<laughs> seagulls and pigeons, mate. Yeah. But it's funny because when I first moved back to Newquay, I, I heard seagulls. I was like, oh, I love the seagulls. Yeah. Do you live I'm with right them, on the beach, man. Yeah, yeah dude. It's lovely. And now I'm like, holiday. fucking seagulls. No, mate. Waking you up, especially the babies when they have the babies on the roofs and that yeah. nightmare. But also, because it was literally right in the town centre, I just thought the, after the clubs kick out, because mm. a lot of times we're going to be recording in the evening, the yeah. clubs kicking out. It makes mm. loads more sense to do it here. And it wasn't like a double, uh, double pane bloody uh, glass window. Right. It was like a single. Yeah. Pain, so you would have heard it. Which would have been a pain. <laughs> yeah. And then... Um... <clears throat> it was um, it was cheaper. Yeah. But... Smaller. Know, man. And then, like, yeah. And also, remember bloody wood chip? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wallpaper. Yeah. With wood chip. Oh, no, oh, mate. no what? It was Sorry, that. It's well. access in the summer. Yeah. We've got to get to it in the summer. Yeah, this is open 24. Drive to it, take me hours, wouldn't it? Yeah. With all the yeah. holiday makers here and that. So no, mate, I'm fucking happy. Good. Happy and glad. Done a good job, mate. Yeah, well, we have, man. We have. Maximum money. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> to be, yeah. But to be fair, but what, what we've got here, I, I even said, didn't I? Because you said, be careful. You were like, you know, be careful about, because you know, what if it fails or, you know. Yeah. You yeah. know, you just, you're sort of like, um, you're the voice of reason for me. Yeah. You know? And you were like, just be careful. Don't go fucking yeah, blowing loads of money. Yeah, don't and say it's going to fail. It's just a no. shit ton of money, mate. You know? <clears throat> it is a shit ton of money. But I said, didn't I? I said, I think it would cost a couple of grand. Yeah. And it's pretty much, I would say, a couple of grand. Maybe yeah. with that bloody, what's it called? Mixer and uh, your A10. The A10. A10 mini. Well, that's 600. Yeah, but that's so it's about that's, 2,600. That's some bit of kit, mate. Imagine fucking about with memory cards and mm. four cameras. Yeah. Or oh, just have to download this memory card, download that memory card. Mate, the edit would have been a pain. Yeah. Yeah. This way it's proper, easy, mate. A lot better. Mm. But like, this is just now, just talking to you, I'm just sort of like conscious. I'm not, you, when I record my videos for Casper's site. Yeah. I don't hear my own voice. No, I, I'm. That's what I find. I'm find that quite difficult. But at the same time, I find it. See, quite... now you have lent back. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You can't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can't get used to the, the yeah. mic, mate, all the time. Yeah, but take it... a mic with you. It's like what? Yeah, but it's really. I mean, I do it anyway because I'm conscious that I've got a mic. I need to speak into a mic. But I'm just glad the... you haven't got that fucking red one. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Four of them, mate. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> like Jesus, man. Oh no, that would be good. But these are silent. Listen, I know. Good, oh, yeah. isn't it? I just fucking oh, got to tighten it up. Who who had the red one? Tan Tantrix. Yeah, I sent it to Tantrix. <laughs> I reckon Tantrix. I didn't. Even, the thing is, I felt really bad because I didn't even clean it. You know, oh, you should have oiled it, mate, to stop it squeaking. Oh that yeah, annoyed yeah. him, wouldn't it? No, but it was all full of dust and everything. You know, when like things get all tacky and things like like. Oh no. Ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Why didn't you clean it? Well, I did. I gave it a quick wipe over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably fucking binned it. To be fair, nah, you won't have, mate. Yeah. Don't be using it. No, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, man. But like, I'm I'm chuffed with finally at a place, man, where we can sit down and record. It took so long to get here. I know. I was a bit stressed yesterday, wasn't I? There's been a lot of stress, mate. But it's just, well, I don't know. It hasn't. It's not so much stress. It's sort of um. You just want it. You want it now, didn't you? Yeah, you know? I wanted it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'm total opposite. I'm like, no, we've got to make sure everything's right. Mate. Even you know? down to the fucking yeah. hard drive. Yeah, got to make sure you buy the right hard drive. It's like, no, I'll just fucking buy one, mate. Well, it's like, what if it don't work? <laughs> it's like, well, I'll just fucking send it back then. Yeah. Uh, nah. Well, he's got to fucking do it, yeah. That's where a good team, mate. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to the people coming on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say too much though. No, no, don't want, I wouldn't say I would too say, much. I'm not going to say any names. I'm excited. But one in particular, mate. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't want to tease. I don't want to tease like anybody listening now. No. But but you could, could, you could say what what they do. Um I, what, no. what their job is? No. Nah. No, nah? no, because if that 
person doesn't turn up, they'll be like, well, what about this? Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, it narrows it down quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. But basically, I was... Um, this is a, a sort of like a clue for anybody who like, knows the local area sort of thing. So I was in a place called Port Isaac. And um, I, went, I went down there and uh, I went down by the bay. Yeah, beautiful place. I know I've told you before, but I'm sort of like recapping. That is pretty, mate. Yeah, and I thought, oh, there's a little outdoor um, bar there. So I thought, I'll have a quick... And this fucking... Someone goes, excuse me, look to my left. Casper site. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I can't fuck I up. Like... I can believe you get recognised. I know, nuts, that's like three times now out in the pub there. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, all right, mate... I offered him a pint, but he was like, he was driving. He was a coach driver. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Really, yeah. really nice guy. I thought this could be fucking weirdo. This could be like a, you know. Yeah, yeah. One of those weird so situations. So you guard go up instantly when someone goes. No, we didn't. You're like, Casper side, but you're like, oh, fucking hell. No, no, not at all. Yeah. No, yeah. I love it. Nice. And I'm like, hello, mate. And My I'm, guard would go up like, straight away, mate. No, I offered him a pint. I'd be I, like, maybe they want to try and murder me or. Oh, fucking you know, hell, no. no. They might, might try and kidnap me or something. Why would you automatically think of the word? I'd just see. What'd you do, mate? I just do. I'm just a warrior. I just block it and counter attack. Yeah. <laughs> what like Elden Ring? <laughs> oh. Two and a half hours to kill the boss. Yeah, one, two. You said yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was two and a half hours. Now we're podcasting, mate. Yeah. So anyway, I fucking after saying goodbye to him, um, with my missus and that, and um, her mum and dad and, and and Aurora, went up the hill and I met and I saw this guy. I saw him pr- prior to that, actually, had a little chin wag, but didn't actually, it didn't actually click who he was. Mm. And then when I realized who he was, I was like, holy shit, I've got to ask this guy to come on the podcast. I don't know if I'd click if I saw him, you know? <clears throat> it's one of them, innit? Yeah. There was someone else. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I could find it, mate, but there was someone famous down the beach the other day. Um, right. My friend said, oh, I saw a matey down the beach and I had a little chat with him. I was a bit gutted because if I saw him, I would have took the opportunity to say, like, can you come come and have a chat on our podcast? Like, you know? <coughs> what, what did he do? I can't remember his name, mate. Do you want me to try and find it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'll try and find it. You carry on talking about this guy again. Yeah, well, that was basically it. So I sat down next to him. I said, look, mate, you know, I've got a you know, pretty successful um, YouTube channel, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I've got a second channel coming up. It's a podcast. Would you be up for it? He's like, yeah. Yeah, here's my email. Nice. And I thought it was going to be like, I thought, yeah, he's fobbing me off now with an email. But he started spelling it out and shit. I was like, he's spelling this shit out. He's interested. Yeah, nice. You know? And so I said to my missus, I was like, I was like, oh, should I email him tonight? She goes, well, do you want to come across desperate? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, I want to, you know, I want to come across eager. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 mate. Christopher Eccleston. Yes. Yeah, he was down the beach the other day at Porf Tower. No. Mate. Yeah. Not Porf Tower. Fish Tower. No. Tower. No. Great West. Porf Cofford. Oh, right. Okay. Where we went driving, where we did the snorkel bid. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. down there, mate. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's he been... He's been oh no! Stuff. Oh sh- mate, he's been. He was in um, twenty eight days later. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah the I one who wants to write, try to re um, populate the fucking yeah. world again. Yeah, man. Yes, mate. Yeah. Oh, that would have been brilliant. And there's also a rumor that Gary Barlow's bought a house. At- Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow's <laughs> bought the house at um, Puff Coffin Bay. There's three houses in a row there. Right. Real nice ones next to the beach, and it, one of them's been built. Yeah. And my mate said, "Oh, I think." Gary Barlow's bought it. We might have to get him on. Right. It'd be really, really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I think you sound great. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he won't come on now. No, 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 but now you've said that, he fucking won't. I know he won't. He'd be like, he might do. He yeah. might come on to smack my ass. But um, he, uh, so anyway, I, I decided, I thought, no, do you know what? Let's sob this pussy footing around. You know, at the end of the day, I want him on the podcast. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, does he feel like if I come across like this, if I do too early? No, bollocks to it. I, I asked him, so clearly I'm interested. I'll just fucking email him. So yeah. I emailed him. And then literally, and then that night I've been thinking, he's not got back to me. Ah, he's not fucking, he's full of fucking shit he is. You, but then, you rang me, didn't you? Yeah. Who sent me an email, mate? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, the next day he sent me an email. Yeah, nice. He wants to make a day of it. So... 
That's cool. Yeah, man. Doors opening up. Yeah. Um, Not good dates, though, is he? No. All right, don't fucking burst my bubble. No, but there was <laughs> no, dates he's, for he's... something else. I'm yeah, getting yeah. confused. There yeah, was yeah. dates for something else, I've got but a, not him yet. Yeah, I've got a date for uh, some other person, which I think is going to be really, really interesting. Yeah, that's su- good. Like, super interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, mate. Um, but no, he, he sort of gave me a date. He said um, uh, when he comes back, um, then he'll let me know the, the times. Yeah. Because like he asked, oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, because he asked for locations in Newquay to yeah, stay, restaurants and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's, yeah. he's definitely interested. Oh, definitely, mate. Yeah, but um, mate, I, I, I just fucking, it's just been a proper buzz. And subscribers? Huh? We're gonna get some subs on. Oh yeah, of course. We're gonna get some subs on. And... Yeah, the first one's gonna be subs. Yeah, yeah. We got um. Yeah, that's it. I want it to be like um. I want it to be anybody with. I'm starting to feel comfortable already, mate. Are you? It's probably that whiskey. Yeah. You've had a fucking whiskey That's already, it, mate. I could, I could next one more, man. But I can't. I've got to well, drive in a couple. We're gonna of be hours. here for a while, mate. Nah, man. No, I won't. I won't. Yeah, a couple of hours, That's isn't it? Good. Yeah. That's good. Um, what was I saying? Subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to balance. At the end of the day, mate, I don't give a shit who it is who comes on, as long as it's got an interesting story. Mm. You know. Just want to chat. Yeah. Learn. Yeah. Definitely. You know, I'm even thinking about some sort of slogan for this channel. Because initially when I started when I wanted to start this, it was like I thought about uh, not being around the bush, mate. I thought about Joe Rogan. Yeah. Right. And I thought, how much has he learned? Like he's an intelligent guy now. Yeah. I mean, I think he's I think he's clearly he probably always already been, was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how much he's learnt yeah. from just speaking to people and listening, you know? Yeah. I think it just, man, it's priceless, isn't it? Oh, Knowledge. mate, it's really interesting. Without sounding like cheesy. Well, that's kind of how you do learn, isn't it? Mm. You, just, you know, you learn from other people when you're older. Yeah. Unless you read and stuff. I don't read much. Do you read? Me, much? I don't read. Don't I don't read. read. I don't read. I don't read. Oh, shit. I, got, I picked up my reading glasses today. Where I was going to bring them in to show you. Where's the picture? I haven't taken a picture yet. You, te- you I fucking, liar. I haven't taken you a picture. You liar. I haven't. You're so full of shit. I you prom- took mate, a selfie. Wanna, mate, you want to see my... Excuse the cock pictures, but do you want to see... <laughs> <laughs> Nancy wants them all the time. You have <laughs> Honestly, mate, I have not taken a picture because I was going to wait till Nancy got home because she, she was like, she was like, oh, I might quite like your glasses. Right. What are you, you going for? Square fucking glasses round. go on the eyes. Yeah, but what? Square frames, round frames, um, big fuck off ones like <laughs> Timmy Mallet used to wear. No, the fucking the the the, the snooker player. What was his name? The upside oh, down yeah, glasses. Mate, they were like fucking that much at the bottom and then about three <laughs> inches high, weren't they? <laughs> no. Um, what's he called? Higgins. Higgins. No, he wasn't Higgins. No, he uh-huh. was. Um... Oh, it's no good asking you. You wouldn't remember. Oh shit, man! Hang on a second. Um, what does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> so I've, I've gone for, because I didn't know, because there there, apparently there's a rule. If you've got a round face, mm. you shouldn't go with round glasses. So I've got like a um, pretty damn awesome face. You haven't so got a round well, face? <laughs> no, I've got a long face. Yeah. So um, I think I went for like squarish. O- no, you didn't go for the star ones then? The what? Star or triangles. <laughs> Because. Star ones would really suit you, mate. You know, like, being <laughs> being cast beside all that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're only reading glasses. Yeah, but no, I've got. I just like fucking roundish. I'll, I'll wear them at some point. It's only when I'm reading, apparently. Yeah. But the thing is, mate, um, this is what's confusing me because last time I went there to spec savers, right? They congratulated me because I had vision better than twenty twenty vision. <laughs> And then this time you've lost it. Well, it was three years ago since I last been. Oh, that's fair enough. But like, mate, I've got to wear glasses. I've I know got you. glasses. Yeah, I'm I never see wear them. Yeah, I only wear them for driving. But it was funny, mate, at the time when I went and had the, this this fucking woman, mate. <laughs> she wasn't very friendly at all. I sat down. She was like, "So why are you here?" I said, what inspect I... savers? Yeah. This like she was like a South African woman. I've got a fucking itchy toe. What are you going to do about it? She though? was like, "So why why do you think you need glasses?" I was like, so I've, been, I've been getting a lot of headaches. And she was like, all right. So have you been to the doctor? 
I was like, what? I was like, no. She was like, well, why not? I said, I, anyway, that's, that's what I thought. I've got, like, I'm getting headaches because I need glasses. That's what I thought. <clears throat> anyway, she, she was just, um, ended up I needed glasses, you know? And she, I was right. I was one eye, not the other. So I've got one eye worse than the other. Mm. That's usually the case, though, isn't it? Yeah. And that's why I was getting headaches. And in the end, she said, oh, yeah, if you've got one eye worse than the other, that will give you headaches because there's a difference there. Yeah. And that will give you headaches. But she was like, why have you not been to the doctor if you're getting headaches? I was like, because I think it's my fucking eyes. You know, that's why I'm here. Is that her first day or something? Or her last day? I don't know, mate. I don't know. She was just off. She was just off. But yeah, yeah. I should wear mine, mate. And I said to her at the end, I said, um, so when do I need to use them, mate? Like, just for reading or driving? She just went, well, every time you're using your eyes. What I was, the? I was just like, was she off her head? I was like, what? She was like, yeah, every time you're using your eyes. I was like, what? So all the oh. time? That's all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, not when you sleep. She was like, no, no, no. When you're doing something like reading book or watching TV. <laughs> Every or... time you're using your eyes. I was like, fucking hell, man. What the fuck? Yeah, so so... You, you need to be wearing them like a lot then. Yeah. I've when never I... seen you wear glasses. When I'm using my eyes. Yeah. You're using your eyes now. I know. But yeah, she meant. I'm a rear when... mate. She meant when I'm reading and stuff. <laughs> 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 But like, uh, but I um, I, I fucking went in there and like, and that's what puzzled me because I knew I did I I because they said like your eyesight is better than twenty twenty vision. She said if you, well, he, better than twenty twenty, there's no such thing. That's exactly what I thought. Shut up. No, that's what I thought, mate. Twenty twenty is like no, perfect eyesight. No, it's not. What? Well, no, so you get twenty one twenty one. No. <laughs> 22, 22. <laughs> no, honestly, I, sure. I, I, I actually thought this, the same. But three years ago, I started, you know, when they do like, look at that A, B and all that shit, right? And I started reading and I got down to like almost down to the bottom. She goes, I, I, think, I can't remember what, whether it was female or male, whatever. It said, um, oh, congratulations. Your eyesight's better than 2020 vision. I said, I thought 2020, 2020 was the best. He said, no. He said, that line there... If you can read that, that's twenty twenty vision. And right. You can read the um the one below the one it. below it. Yeah. Okay. And now my eyes, right? Apparently, are um most people's eyes are round. Yeah. Right. I thought they're slightly they're slightly oval. Aren't well, they? that's the lens. Right. Yeah, the lens will Front like it. bulge it out. That's what she said. <laughs> but mine are, are slightly like rugby ballish. Right. Or if you're American, you look American. Bit, you look a bit rugby though, don't you? <laughs> But there, but it's called something, right? So um, it's not like a problem. It's just it's quite. It's not common, but yeah. it's not uncommon. So I thought it was that. But in my vision cycle, I was like, oh, it's just because my eyes are like fucking rugby balls, you yeah. know. But then I'm I'm, I'm I'm fucking I'm looking at shit. I'm like I'm blaming stuff on the on the on the on the lighting. I'm like it's fucking lighting here, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm toying, uh, Yeah, I'm really lying to myself. And I'm sitting down there, and I, I spent 15 quid on this extra, um, like, technology. They right. said, do you want to do, do this extra technology? And it will can see the health of your eye for the next four years. Right. And it only cost 15 quid. I was like, fuck yeah. What does that do? Take a picture of your lens or something? My missus has Mate, to do that with diabetes. She's got to have her eyes, like, photographed. Dude, this thing <clears throat> is on another fucking level of checking out your eyes. What does it do? So it's like um, it takes the picture of just your like your blood vessels around your eyes, right? And you can and then you see this on the screen. He says, yeah. "Here's here's the, your you eyeballs." You have to have these drops in. No, well, no. Well, I just well, I just look in this camera. Yeah. And it, and she goes like, "It's gonna flash now. Just don't blink, don't blink, don't blink. Bang!" And it's like proper bright. I think I had that. Yeah. I think I had that when I went in, but I didn't have to pay extra. Well, they've only had this now since about like six months ago. Right. Right. So I, mean, I think both machines do flash, but this one must have flashed in a different way or like right. seeing in a different way. I don't know. But like he says, right, okay, so this is your eye. This is your eyeballs. And this is your blood vessels around your eyeballs. I was literally looking at the blood vessels around the eyeballs. He goes, that's, that's good. That's, they're healthy. They're red. They're, you know, they're all there. Like, you know. And then, um, <clears throat> and then he said, like, now we're going to go looking in the back of your eye. And he, he saw, um, he could see if I've got, my retina is attached properly. Right. Right? Yeah. He could see that. Yeah. And he said, yeah, that's really healthy, really good. And then he was going into sort of like, 
like a, a, a side on view. And it, it, I could see layers of my fucking eyeball, dude. I could see like the flesh and then the like the what, squidgy. In yeah. <laughs> no, no, mate. I, I, and oh, then, mate, I can and, then that. I, and then I was no, but I was seeing it in like um in like almost like in heat vision as well and like depth vision what the like fuck? different colors for different depths and strengths and things like that yeah, mate yeah. it was fuck it was unbelievable it was i would have paid 15 quid just to see like that shit just to see you and he, and he was moving around in 3d like it, it was flipping like it was like you know um on map design and like you can see i don't know like uh like the core of the earth yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you can rotate it. Like, right. you see a mountain type I'm surprised thing. he didn't give you a fucking VR headset, mate, or something. Just put that on. You can walk around inside yeah. your eyeball. But, it, mate, it was it was fucking unbelievable. No it was way. really good. And nice. so I know now, I now know that in my, my eyes... Your retinas can, are good. Yeah. Good retinas. Yeah, because my dad's retina detached. I know and somebody that's hereditary, that... apparently. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I know... I know somebody that that's happened in both eyes, and they had to go and have an operation. Fucking hell, when he Mate. shake his head, his eyes were rolling Dude, around you, everywhere. You know him. You know him. Oh, do I? Yeah, but he had to have... Um... He had to have stick, mate. He came round to my house, dude. <laughs> fucking hell. Mate, this is unbelievable. He had fucking... Stick. Wait, where are you fucking looking at? <laughs> oh, that just popped then. He had, he had fucking stitches in his eyeball. Oh, no. With bits sticking out. You know, like the stitch? The black stitch? The black fucking yeah. plastic or whatever they use? Around his colour of his eye... He had stitches, and the bits of material were sticking out like sharp, like fishing line. Oh my god! And they were sticking out, and every time he blinked, he was like, ah, ah. <laughs> "Mate, I'm I'll tell you what it is." How did he sleep, mate? That was that must be horrendous. But yeah, he had to basically. They took, they cut his eyes and took it out and reattached his retina or something. That's like something from a horror oh, movie. It was insane. Man. But he's all right now. But. Yeah, that was like my worst nightmare. I can't deal with eyes. Because that also, he would have probably had to have done that with like local anesthetic, not general. Like oh, he maybe. would have been awake. Oh, fuck that, mate. I Imagine that with fucking. I don't worry. Oh. A big fucking needle going into your fucking eyeball. Yeah. It's just the fact of having some. Uh, that irritation. I, I couldn't imagine it. Couldn't, you know, when you've got something in your eye that's yeah. really bad. Yeah. Well, I've been like that all the time for days. The worst thing I've had, mate. Thinking about it, when I was plastering, I've had lime in my eye. Oh yeah, we have lime at work, mate. We have lime powder at work. I had to it's, get it's horrid. It stings like fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that it gets rid of bone. Well, it's it's real um, alkaline. Right. It's like crazy pH. Yeah. Apparently, you've got something like um, <clears throat> I think it's seven layers of skin on your eye. Right. And I burnt through. I think it was five. With the, yeah, yeah lime's bad. Yeah. Lime's bad, mate. Because you throw in lime with... On like, the opposite end, it's acid. Like, on the opposite end, is acid. So, yeah. And lime can do just as... I just, just had to lie fun. back on this couch with this drip, this bag of water, and just let it drip on my eye, like, oh, over and over. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. I bet. Yeah, it's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, but then the day's gone, pastoring, mate. How about that? Well I've had, a, I've had well. one, dra one drop of acid in my eye at work. One tiniest drop, mate. I was filling up this tank. And it just plopped, it just a little drop must have plopped out and just the tiniest drop just went mm. in my eyeball, mate. Yeah. Hideous pain. Hideous. I just ran out there like trying to find the eye wash. Just thinking like, fuck. Oh. What, what is the worst pain you've ever had? Oh, man. Ever. Emotional or proper pain? Like physical pain. Physical pain. No. Oh, um... And you slipped down that fucking half pipe years ago. I broke my leg. I broke my leg. I didn't slip down it, mate. Did I? I landed on it on my fucking leg. Yeah. One leg. You still weren't joking. Are you still really laughing about oh, that? Are you? No, mate. That was bad. It's the worst injury I've ever had. I'd take a oh, broken yeah, leg any day over a broken knee. Any day. I'd rather break bones than bloody. Because you drove home that day as well, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Woke up the next day, mate, and my knee was three times the size. No joke. Oh, that's popping, isn't it? Yeah, it's popping. Have to sort it out. It might not, might not, won't be popping on there, though. Hopefully not. Nah. Yeah, but that was, that's bad, yeah. mate. I couldn't walk for 13 weeks. <laughs> I was fucked, mate. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> killed me. Killed me, that did. Worst injury ever. But I wouldn't say that's the worst pain I've ever had. Mm. I don't know. Tough one, that, mate. What's the worst pain you've ever had? Um, It's hard. Yeah. I think maybe... 
I mean, I've had broken arms, but a broken <laughs> arm is more of a like it's a numb feeling, isn't it's it? Like it's a dead like leg. A, I can't move it feeling. Like when I broke my leg, mate. Yeah. Like a dead leg, but ten times worse. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't say it's excruciating. Yeah. I reckon probably the most pain I've ever been in is when I had real bad food poisoning once. Oh really? Yeah. And like my 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 whole body inside felt like it was like just pain everywhere. Inside. Yeah. 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 I reckon that's probably. I think yeah yeah. To be fair, mate, I remember it quite well. And yeah, you want to like die, you know, yeah. after a couple of hours of pain like that. It's like, oh my god. Uh, there's there's a couple of um. Uh, I would say going back to it, I would say. Probably just, probably breaking my arm. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Paper cut. They're pretty painful. <laughs> <laughs> but there's there's two um there's two pains that I hope I never get. What about like, your thumb, mate? Oh shit, that was painful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. but that was no to be fair, I was like when it when it happened, um if anybody don't know, I was basically weight training and the weights like a bar squished my fucking thumb together. And that's why I've got a black thumb. Still black now. Yeah. But look, you can see you can see how the new nail's starting to grow through. Yeah. Yeah, but um, when I did that, I was like, oh, God. like, but in my head, I was like, should that hurt as much as it is? And I thought, am I? I didn't. It was weird because I thought, should I be in more pain? I, have I fractured that? If I fractured that, I've got a feeling that's fractured. So why aren't I? Uh, why aren't I in more pain? Yeah, yeah. Because I carried on doing weight training. It's fucking Rambo, did. Yeah. But anyway, um, but I, I heard of two pains, right, that I hope I never get. One I doubt I'll never get. Shooty bum. What? Shooty bum. What are you on about? <laughs> oh, fuck, yes. <laughs> yeah, like, ah! yeah. What is that all about? I don't know, mate. What is that? I've had that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like a pain in your ass. Sometimes you get in your chest, don't you? Have you ever had that? No, okay. that's a heart attack. No, it's not a heart attack. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a dude. I've had the same thing in my chest. Like you'll get up and you'll be like, oh, and you get like the shooty pain in between one of oh, your ribs mate, and no, your I'm chest. A, I'll be it's like, fuck. No, I'll be, I'll be straight in the doctor's. I'll be straight in the doctor's next day. It's actually, it's actually where the nerve gets caught in between the muscle, you and your muscle wall. Oh really? Yeah, and it pinches a nerve. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what that because it could just come on all of a sudden, kind of the ass yeah. pain. <laughs> I laughed what so much, that? mate, when Keith Lemon said about that. Yeah, it was on TV and it was like, oh, you ever had shooty bum? I was like, I laughed so much, mate. I was like, yes, mate. Someone else gets it. You know? <laughs> Everyone gets it, apparently. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a common thing. I don't know what that is. But that go is on. Weird. What's these two pains, man? Keep so the two pains. You. No, sorry. The two pains that I hope I'll never get. One I don't think I'll ever get, touch wood, because it's apparently really, really rare. Like 1% of the world's population. You'll probably get it. No. Nah. No. Nah. Stop fucking jinxing me, man. <laughs> Bit sensitive, mate. When it comes down to shit like that, yeah. All right. Right. So, um, first of all, I'll start with the lower one, okay, which is supposed to be really, really bad, and that is um, bladder stones. Oh yeah, mate. Someone at work had them, and they said it's the worst pain they've ever had in their life. Literally, man. Kidney stones. Yeah. 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 I saw a girl um, a few weeks back, yeah. and I said, "How are you doing?" Like, it's like around the neighbourhood. I said, "How are you doing?" She goes, "Oh, you know, I'm recovered now because I've just had um, like bladder stones." I was like. Because and ironically, <laughs> you know when you you know when you go on YouTube, you start looking at shit. I start I I, I was looking into that. Oh, and right. I, was, I haven't I haven't YouTubed it. No, I haven't YouTubed it. But when you go down down to the like the YouTube hole, yeah, yeah, you know, you start off with like I don't know the Simpsons, and then you end up like looking at black holes and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I I I heard about how bad it was, like the pain, and um. So she said, and I said, look, I've heard it's really, really painful. She goes, and I said to her, I said, I've heard that it's more painful than giving birth. And she's got two kids. Yeah. And she says, yeah, it is. She says, what it is, it's with, with pain, uh, with, with um, giving birth or like, you know, going through labor, you can sometimes move in a way which relieves the pain. Yeah. Like you can go onto your fours, you can go on your back, yeah, yeah. you can do whatever to relieve the pain. Mm. But she says, with this, you can't. You can't move. It's can't just constant it. fucking pain. That it works. And it I, was like pissing glass. I looked at I <laughs> yeah. I looked at the um 
the diagrams of it like you've got this tube so basically you've got your bladder all right and then this is thin tube like a straw that is like oh, it's just fleshy it's like a fleshy straw right then it goes down to your, it goes down to your dick right and so it, imagine a stone a sharp stone being pushed through there did right? it piss him out huh do you piss him out yeah Oh fuck off! You have to piss them out. No. You, you can have like um, you you can have stuff that like dissolves it, breaks it up, right. but you still eventually have to pass it. You have to pass them through. Unless I think sometimes in certain cases you have to have, you can have an operation. Change but the they don't want to do yeah. But anyway, so that's apparently one of the worst. But the worst pain apparently that anybody can experience, and it's actually made people commit suicide. Right. I shouldn't say that. I should probably, probably blank that out. Like, take the whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's a pain in the face. There's this nerve, right, that something can go wrong, and it's this fiery, burning, horrible, the, the worst pain you can possibly imagine in your face. And they call it something. I Never can't remember. Um, Never heard of it. I'm going to Google it because it, it's called something. It's got, like, a nickname. Right. Um... Pain in face. Um, you're a pain in the face. You're a pain in the ass. <laughs> in face. Um, takes. What's that thing on the back of your phone case? Hey? What's that on the back of your phone? It's a flap. Why have you got a flap? To protect the um the five six fucking cameras this phone's got, which I never use any of them. Has it got five six cameras? Has it got, seriously got a flap on the back? It's a cover. <laughs> what the fuck? Have you got five cameras on Six that? Six of the bastards in there. <laughs> Isn't it? Why don't you this use is that? A... Should you use that, mate? This is the... Right, Should mate. you use that instead of all these? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, this... Like, I'm so over phones. I tweeted that out the other day. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I love a phone, mate. I can't... Like, they're shit. They're not shit. We've had these conversations. No, they're not shit. They're shit, no, dude. I disagree, mate. They're phone bollocks. Is, no, they're not, mate. Listen, I have... Mate, the amount of shit that you can do on a phone now that you couldn't do 10, 15 years ago is ridiculous. There's, you can do pretty much anything you want on a phone these okay, days. Okay, yeah, fair so enough. So they're not shit, mate. Uh, okay, all You've right. You've got a but laptop what... in your fucking pocket. You've got a fucking camera, a gimbal. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. All right, all right. I get you. I get what you're saying. However, when I got the um, Samsung 7 Edge... Right. right. Yeah. That's old as shit now. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Right. Right. Now this is the most modern fucking Samsung 21, whatever it yeah, is yeah. Like, you can get. 22 is out now. Well, this is the whatever this is. Yeah, this is yeah. 22. It's the newest one. I only got a few months ago. No, actually, I think you're right. Yeah, they brought out another one with an extra fucking camera. So you've got seven fucking cameras on this shit yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. And but what I'm saying is, and this is what made me think. Right. Yeah. This is no different to the Samsung 7 Edge. Shut up. Yes, it is. Well, if it is, I don't use the functions. Well, why not? Because who fucking cares? Do I need the functions? Well, you say that, mate. I use mine. I love my phone. I love my phone camera. I love it. It's loads better than the last one I had. Last one what, I had, had what one camera. I, I've what I use now. my phone for is phoning people mm -hmm. and texting people right. and Googling. Right. Right? Yeah. I don't use it for shit all else. I use. I take it for pictures. So I take it pictures like, yeah, yeah. like fucking. Oh, get, get together. Right? Yeah, yeah. Click. That's a nice sunset. <clears throat> Click. Right. That's all I use it for. Yeah. So, you know, but they can if you know how to use them. No offense. If you know how to use them properly, these days they're fucking un unreal. Okay, mate. but all right. So this is the Samsung. I'll show you. This is the now. Samsung Twenty One, right? Yeah. How different do you think it is to the Samsung Twenty fucking Two? Not much. Exactly. Yeah. And this is what I'm pissed off about. Because this is like... How much is this phone? About 500 quid, something oh, like that? Fuck no. It's probably a lot, yeah. Yeah. Like, I bought this, and then three months later... I bought this when it first came out, right? And it's just one of those things where I could upgrade. I thought, fuck it. I'll spend the extra £10 a month, and I'll get the best phone you got. Yeah. Right? right. Maximum phone. And then three months later, the, the Samsung 22 came out. Yeah. And it kept on showing, like... It was like... 
with the fucking advert, <laughs> over, like and zooming in, zoom on, and zooming in on the fucking cameras over <laughs> and over because it's got seven cameras now instead of six. I thought, actually, I commented on the YouTube video. I was like, this looks exactly the same as like mine. And all the comments, dude, all the comments were like, yeah, but the year same to, shit, the year same year, they shit. Don't change much. But like, if you say like now, mate, some phones, some contracts now are three years, aren't they? If you have a three-year contract, it's two years. Then you can give them the phone back. Yeah. And then they give you can start a new one. Yeah. You know, when we first started with phones, it was a year contract, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, now it's two well, years. It's pay and go. And now it's three years. <laughs> it's pay and go. Yeah, yeah. But the mate, thing the is, first mate, hang phone on a second. Oh, hang on I a second. Before the aerial app. <laughs> yes, mate. And the text message, dude. <laughs> I used to get a text. And get, mate, I used to have to wait if it was a long text. It scrolled. The screen was this big. And it used to scroll across. I was like, the I <laughs> mess of you of oh, mate. It was ridiculous. Mate, when I had my first phone, no one else had phones. Fuck, that makes so me I, feel old. So I had to go through. I, I remember, like, I had a, and, and this is the thing. The first phone I had, it was purple, right? Sony Ericsson. I don't know. No, it was purple. It, it was, was a purple. It was long. Ericsson. It was quite thick, and it was had an aerial. Okay. Yeah. And that then, back then, it had phone mum. No. Yes. No, it right? didn't. And dude, it didn't it, work. I had a phone so early. Right? Ended up phoning the police. Nobody something. had phones, so I was just I would go through the street pretending that I'm phoning people. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, like when, when, when a car comes, when a car comes, I'll be like, yeah, 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 on the phone. But then fuck is on there. Yeah, you know, I'd be like, pay five pounds, and that would last me fucking god knows how long. Yeah, yeah, it was like two p a minute or something. Yeah, but saying that, how many times have you, you and I, been speaking on the phone, and we are raging yeah, over yeah. The, the the like back in the day, I didn't have problems phoning people. No, N never cut out. No, no. Now you got a fucking five fucking G, <laughs> five fucking G. Down out the movie before you even fucking what? You know, oh, you know, it's bollocks. It is. This fucking, but I tweet it out. I show. I, I read yeah, the tweet. I think. That, I read mate, the tweet. That's because there's there's a lot more phones now. You know. Yeah, but more. they need to they need to sort that shit out. Yeah, like, what's the point of spending all this money, mate? The amount of times that we have conversations, then and, and they just cut off, don't they? Yeah. It's probably 50%. Yeah, it's like, it, it, 50 uh, uh, of the time, we're like, you uh, fucking you, phones. You, uh, I, I'm yeah. just going down the dipper, mate. <laughs> big dipper. I'm going down the fucking big dipper. Big dipper, mate. You know? It's like, shit, hang on. Here we go. Look. I, did I've got you tweet it out? I did. I, I, was so, I was so raging. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, when, yeah, here we go. I said, what's the point of having a 500 plus phone when it struggles to ever find effing signal? And I got 133 likes on that. Yeah. Right? Everyone's agreeing. <laughs> well, it's true, mate. It's true. It is. Like technology, mate. I mean, I love, look, don't get me wrong. I love technology. I've just never been into phones. No. Never. Phones for me is a purpose. I I'm, phone people. I get you on that because my phone is a phone. I'm not interested. Yeah. But my phone is a camera and I love it. I fucking love it. But that, it's like, sometimes that takes better photos, mate, than, well, I say that, it takes better photos. The ease of it. Mm. You pick it up, you take a photo, it's like, wow, the results. You get that from put, a... Put them get that from your mouth. Put them Sorry, mouth. mate, sorry. That's dude. better. See that? Sorry. Hear that depth? <sighs> yeah, that's going to get a lot of you getting used to. Can I get, like, a handle on it? You know, like, they have... You can You know, like, they you. have the fucking things on the steering wheel sometimes to, like... Bonner had one, my mate. My mate, my mate had one on the van. He used to be able to turn the wheel like that in the van. I want one of them. Well, where do you think you're going to be going in this well, room, I, I just put it on like a joystick that I can move it around with. No. Oh, mate, you could get something around your neck. Oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> and click it on. So it just, <laughs> just, just like, follows you around. Just harness it up. That'd be all right. No, no, you're not having that. You leave it alone. Yeah, I love my camera, mate. I love it. I love photography. But the thing is, also, right, with with phones, mm. we're just talking total bullshit here now, aren't we? Yeah, just gone on to some shit, aren't we, talking about phones? But to be fair, I'm enjoying the conversation, so I'm going to carry on. Yeah. There's something I rebel against phones. Well, I re I've I rolled over them on wire. Sorry, I've rolled over them on wire. I rebel against phones in a way. 
because it's like with the camera, okay? Yeah. Like your camera over there, yeah? How much is that? A lot of money. Two grand? Two grand, yeah? So you've got a beautiful two grand camera there, which fucking takes amazing photos, amazing videos, okay? If I had that, I mean, I've got these three fucking cameras, okay? I mean, I'm quite happy with that bloody camera and my, my Canon, which I've just fucking sold. But, you know, I feel bad for investing that much money yeah. into a camera and I just go, fuck it, click. Yeah. It's like having a Ferrari out the front. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, you're taking your little, like, I don't know. Never taking it out of comfort mode. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Or like, you know. Or not racing it. Yeah. And... And also mobile gaming. I don't really mobile game. No. I've tried it. I've got into I've got into a couple of things. I think they're good for like maybe puzzle bubble. No, mate. You know. No, the, the, no, 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 there no, is some no. good ones. Get me, don't get me wrong. I mean we've we've I've I've played fucking Warzone before on it. Yeah. But I'll play it for like ten minutes. Yeah. Because I think to myself, I've, I've got, got a PC. fucking great monster of a PC upstairs. Yeah, what's why, the point? Yeah. But it's only it's only for when you're out and you're unable you're not at home you know you're camping with a family. No, some people like you're at work. No, <laughs> some people have careers streaming like mobile gaming. Yeah, I know it's a big it's a big thing, mate. PUBG, yeah, like PUBG God. is huge. Yeah, yeah, they do big tournaments, don't they? I know. I used to play it at work, mate. On my break and stuff. <clears throat> Just on my break. <laughs> Just on your break. Yeah, man. Yeah. But if this it. if this kicks off, mate, maybe I'm doing this full time, eh? What podcasting? Yeah. Oh, mate, we'd have to be playing games at the same time as podcasting. Eh? We'd have to, wouldn't we? Hey, we could do that. What? We could we could play games and podcast at the same time. Well, that's the point, actually. What we what we um because we were thinking about doing like you know obviously we're gonna have subscribers come in yeah for like Zoom yeah talk to them we're gonna have like YouTubers TikTokers things like that. Famous people. Um, but then we, we said about fillers, didn't we? Yeah. Like a filler week. Something just you and me, what we or could just, do. Yeah. Talking about something regular. Yeah. News. Gaming not, news. It's, it's tough. It's tough yeah. to think. We have like, to come see, up with some ideas. The thing is, to do like... Um, to do like the news, you have to be really on the ball with like the gossip. And I'm not really a gossip type. Neither am I, mate. Like, yeah. You know, I mentioned about the <clears throat> Will Smith thing the other day. Yeah. Which I was, I was actually, the only reason I spoke about Will Smith was because like we've grown up with him. Oh yeah. I love Will Smith. Yeah. You know, I love his and, movies. And it's such a shame. I am legend, all that. Fresh yeah, 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 Prince, yeah. grew up with Fresh Prince. Yeah, and it's such a shame to see him like you yeah. know go down that route. Mm. Um, that's why I mentioned it. But I'm like, but I'll, I'm quite happy to watch like a bit of the drama going on, like drama alert. I watched that. You know, I, right? don't, I don't watch that. I haven't watched it for months, to be fair. But I watched it a bit when I think there was something I was interested in. Like, it used to pop up quite a bit. But the amount of I don't know. I think when you go into when you go into drama like that, <clears throat> you can fall into a very negative. Yeah. You know where yeah. your opinion. Where news becomes like, oh, what what shit can we talk about today? What's what? Yeah. What, what and then bad you start, has happened? Then you start making shit up yeah, just to make, like and it. then you cause an enemies. And no, I don't, don't want to be making enemies. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have... How long have we been recording for? I don't care. It's good, eh? Do you care? No, I don't care. Half of it's going to be cut anyway, isn't it? No, do you think we should? I don't want to edit. No, you, you need to edit. No. Yeah, you do. You need to edit some of the shit out, mate. Well, Not all of it is going to be interesting. Some of the shit people aren't going to want to hear. Are they? Oh, Mason's talking about fucking... Ben's talking about how the shape of his eyes like a rugby ball. Yeah. Well, people might want to know what the I... shape of my fucking balls are. <laughs> what, your balls, <laughs> mate? Not your fucking eyeballs. <laughs> Look at the eyeballs. <laughs> no, but, like, I think that what we'll do is upload this yeah and then maybe like upload the full length mm. and then <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead fuck you know and then um then we can just like chop it up for like for example yeah the nukes yeah but i think say, this one's fine mate you know this is eyeball. just like ben talks about eyeballs mace talks about this and you know yeah yeah this one is a tester it's fine but i think when you've got guests in we might have to edit the only reason I don't want to edit 
is because, because you're a lazy bastard. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, is for um for the people that come on. The reason I say this is right because Jordan Peterson, right? Yeah, mate. Right. He, I get what you're going to say. Reason, he 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 does, likes doing podcasts as yeah. opposed to sort of the mainstream media because I get what you're they gonna change say. what he says. Yeah, yeah. And it makes people comfortable. What I say is not taken out of context. It's there and there. Now, if I say something and I say it wrong, I can apologize and it'd be on the video that I apologize. I didn't mean it that way, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Not chopped out. Oh, so-and-so says this. Yeah. He's this, you know? Yeah. It just puts people at ease that they know that this shit's not edited. It's just having a conversation. Well, then you might as well do it live. If you yeah. edit it, why not just live stream? And then you've got you've got the impact of people watching you live. As yes, well. yes. However, it's nice to have the option to say, you know, to have the option to say, listen, I really, I, you know, I had a fucking drink. I don't want to say that about my family or something like that. Something innocent, yeah, yeah, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd be like, yeah, yeah. don't worry, man. We'll, 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 we'll look after you. We'll, we'll take that out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah? Yeah. Anything can happen live. Mm. You know? I mean, I live stream. I like one day... But that... you need to make your mind up. What do you mean? You need to... I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not live stream. I'm, like, I'm not fucking... I'm not going to be live streaming the podcasts. Right. It's going to be pre-recorded. Like this is recorded and then I'm going to edit it. Right. Not edit it, but fucking, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Upload it. Yeah. But this is, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do anything like that. But okay. like I, I, I sometimes worry about live streaming because I know one day, like even like between. You're going to say the wrong thing. I'm going to say or do this yeah. something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I hope I, like Yeah, but no one's perfect, mate. And no. I don't think you'd ever say anything to get yourself in that much trouble. Yeah. Because you're not a twat. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think certain things or say certain things, you're a nice guy. It's only certain people mm. that It's like I said to you, as long as you know in your heart that you're a good person, you don't mean any ill yeah, intentions. Yeah. yeah. Then you ain't gonna fuck up. Even if you do say something fucking stupid, you don't fucking mean it because you're a nice guy. Yeah, you know. But even so, mate, you know what the internet's like. Mm. Some people can be horrible, can't they? Yeah. Even if you do say the wrong thing, you don't mean it, or yeah. maybe you say something that was. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get yeah. what you're saying, mate. Would you ever live stream that? Well, you live stream with me? Don't I'd you? live stream. I think. Yeah. Well, you thought about... just have to be super conscious that we're live streaming. <laughs> it would always yeah, be you, in the back of my head. You play live stream with me yeah like play games yeah when live streaming yeah it's a good point mate i don't even give it much thought you don't do i you? think if you do give it too much thought it affects you doesn't it yeah it'll make you think oh fucking hell i need to think what i'm saying before i say it yeah no nah, i don't want to do that do you nah you won't be real then mate nah nah you know yeah you just go with the flow fuck it things go wrong people know people know you now mate they know they've seen us on a ghost hunt so they know if we're fucking talking shit yeah when are we gonna do the next ghost hunt What's that castle you said about? In, um, where is it again, mate? I forgot. Where was it? Devon somewhere. Where was it, mate? But in a painting way. Um, Bobby Castle? No. Cool. Is it that one that was on <clears throat> that reaction channel? That fucking top it's... five channel? Not sure, mate. Did you Not see sure. the one that I recorded where... Um... Oh, who was it? And who... What was the channel now? remember the channel now uh can't remember the channel but he, he did basically this um 80s very pomeroy no i don't think it was that one then fucking scary place that mate yeah 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 that place scares me but what i'm worried about mm. with that place <clears throat> i don't know if i want to talk about it to be honest why well you don't talk about it if you don't want to talk yeah about it. nah we could do one there. What are you worried about? <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> don't then. Is it about being scared? No. It closes at R4. Doesn't it? Oh, I see what you're saying. about. That's entry. what I'm worried about. Yeah. 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 You can get in. You know, you don't have to break in. No. But that's my only worry. Yeah. But we, won't, we, won't, we won't bother then. Nah. 
It just complicates things, doesn't it? Well, it can do, can't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Better, I think what you could do is you could go send out, the... because apparently, what I've heard, even though it closes, yeah, there's people there a lot. Yeah, there anyway. is. Oh, mate, every day. Like, so like, we'd be the... lucky to find a night where yeah. there's not someone in there. And isn't there? But some you could sort send of... an email, mate. Yeah, yeah. You just ask permission. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. They might say yeah. Yeah. And also, um. I think the Bod- Bodmin Jail as well. Again? No, not again. With the girl there. Yeah. Kirsten. Kirsten, yeah. She was amazing. Yeah. She scares me, con- though. Yeah. Just, she'd be here, mate. Fuck, you should have the Ouija board out she'd here. She'd fucking have the Ouija board out of the door, mate. Mate, I'd be gone. I won't put that. Yeah, I wouldn't have that. I couldn't do it, mate. I couldn't do Ouija. No. No. I'd like to what about the again. What about the spoon thing? Like, you know where you put the fucking words nah. and shit? Nah. No, like but, a homemade. No, nah, mate. No conjuring. No conjuring any of that shit. No way. No. Nah. I we we we've had an influx of people with paranormal stories, mate. Yeah. Mate, if she said, "Look, this is safe. Nothing will happen. I, you know, they've got protection. Nothing will. I'm just scared to death of doing something like that. Going home, getting in fucking bed." Or the missus goes, night, babe. No, night, off she There's goes. Shadow bass and I sit corner. down on fucking TV like, and I just see the door go. Imagine. Shh. Imagine. I would, I'd, that'd be it. I'd be like, fuck this. Yeah, but that'd be your imagination, dude. Would it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, see a fucking, all right. Say so you see glass just starts clicking go. Is it that's going to fucking mate, happen? Mate, shit happens, mate. Wow. Well, like yeah. Ben and Laney and that, you know? I Like the Ben and Laney, like. Shit happens. But why are they so fucking chill about it? Mate, the it? fucking drawers open and knives come out and stuff. I'd be like, fucking run, get out of there. Have I, have I, I've told you, right? Yeah. About next month. Huh? You've told me, yeah. Yeah. I actually, I haven't spoken to Ben and Laney about it yet. It's annoying me. Fuck you, man. Damn. Um, but that's like, it's weird how they're so cool about it. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's, you know, it's like anything. When things happen day in, day out, yeah. all the time, becomes the norm. Suppose so if not... you've experienced it for months, mate, and you're not being hurt. Yeah. You know? A different story if you wake up and it's fucking strangling you or something in the middle of the night. Isn't it? Imagine that. Yeah. I would move out. But like they said, hasn't it followed them? I don't know. I'm sure it has. I'm sure Lane, is it Laney the Laney? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Lainey's the girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ben's not then. the girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's followed her. Who? What? I'm sure it's followed her from a previous location. I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, yeah. I'm I, sure remember it, say, yeah. I remember seeing something. So some... moving doesn't work. It just follows you. It comes with you. It's yeah. attached to Lainey, isn't it? Mm, maybe. How fucking scary is that? Imagine that, mate. You've got something attached to you. Wherever you go, can't get well, away. Apparently, like um, when I used to be into like the spiritualism and stuff like that, apparently most people, like if not everybody, has got like an angel around them. Yeah, spirit guide. Yeah, yeah, I've heard shit like that before. You know, like, yeah, like atta- not attached to you, but follows you around everywhere, looking after you and stuff. Yeah, but you know, it's whether you believe in all that. I kind of think, mate, that if you do get deep into the paranormal like that, you have to. You have to start believing in that spiritual side of it yourself. What do you mean? If we start going in order to, in order for for you to see stuff and experience stuff, but like happening, and see ghosts mm. and hear ghosts, and I think you need to <coughs> you need to have the right mindset. Yeah, yeah. Like be spiritual in yourself, and you well, know. I be- I I I do agree with you. Remind me about Denzel Washington in a second, because yeah, honestly. <laughs> Like, okay. he, he said something which like sort of like i was like oh fuck yeah yeah because yeah. it's something i questioned and he sort of like put it into into perspective for me um but when i was when i was younger and i used to do like tarot card reading and meditations and stuff like that um because i was into that like every day and i i was so young i shouldn't have gone into it like i really shouldn't have gone into it that young you know but because i was breathing it like every fucking day yeah that's when i started like seeing shit well there you go but the thing is 
Is it your mind? Is though? it your fucking mind? No, I don't know if it is, mate. I think you just have to. It's, I reckon there is really energy there. You just got. Because I used to see shit fucking yeah. run past the window. I think stuff. there's energy everywhere, dude. I just I think, think it's, it's energy, yeah, but is it like is it spirits that interact? Like you know when you die, like electric has to go somewhere. Energy never dies. Yeah, exactly. So energy like, turns into so we've got another electric, type of energy. We've got electric shit going yeah. for us, right? So when when we die, yeah. So when we die, that electric goes somewhere, and like my thought is, okay, maybe that electric sort of like morphs around, just fucking floats around and shit. That's what maybe people like tap yeah. in on yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. I'm not too sure whether that electrical stuff can is a thinking thing that can interact with stuff, can talk to you, can move shit. I think it's just electric like energy in the air, which can't fucking escape because it's just. So how come when it's inside you, how come it works? Because it moves on muscles. Yeah, but how, you say that you say that when that energy's gone. It mm. can't do shit. And... Well, because it's not got any body to fucking to move. It's, yeah, got... it's got other things it can move. Yeah, but because it's got a brain to say, move that glass. Yeah. Pick that phone up. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just energy. Like, it's like saying, why is that electric not deciding to move that fucking, you know, cupboard across the room or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I'm you know what you. I mean? With you, mate. But um, <clears throat> and it, it's like... Can you remember an old film? Funny enough, it's Denzel Washington again. Oh. All right. You and Denzel mate, mate like I that. I fucking love Denzel Washington. He's, He's cool. fucking amazing. He's pretty cool. Like, he was in a film called... Oh, what's this? What's the fucking film called? Amazing film. Basically, it's a film that... Um, He's a detective, as he always is. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody, somebody's on death row. Right. And when they die... Their spirit goes out, and then what it does, it it goes into different people, and it can transfer into different people from touch. I think I yeah, I it rings a bell, man. I don't know if I've seen it, but I think I might have read something or seen a trailer about it. Um, is that Washington? Uh, uh, spirit, spirit, spiritual movie. Maybe that's it. Um, but the Fallen. Fallen, I haven't yeah. seen it. No, mate, you've not seen Fallen? No, I need to it's see it. It's amazing. It's right. a, such a good film, mate. He's like this weirdo psycho serial killer is on death row. And yeah. He dies and you see his spirit go up and then it goes into something. They go <gasps> like that and then they're possessed by this person. And they do... They so, start killing and people. So he, yeah, and he's the detective. Right. How does... How does he suss that out? Exactly, because he says, oh, you're him, I'm going to arrest you, and then he just touches somebody else and the spirit's gone. Right. Into somebody else. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And it just acts normal. But anyway, Denzel Washington says something, and like a couple of times on my videos, I've, I've said, why is it that, um, that uh, people that are religious? Yeah. Yeah, you've said that to me before, mate are the ones that get possessed and all this sort of stuff. Mm. And he says something along the lines of when you're not, there's something to do, there's something to do with the devil. Like when you, when you don't care about religion and, and doing good stuff, the devil won't, the devil won't bother with you. Yeah. But when you're, uh, when you're on the edge of, uh, of doing greatness and being like full on love, yeah. Towards the you know the emotional the spiritual side of things, the God. Yeah. That's when you piss off the devil. Right. And that's when the devil will try and get you. Right. Yeah. So basically, if you ignore if you ignore the if you ignore God. Yeah. Right. And not be religious. And the devil leave you alone. He'll leave you alone because he already knows you're doomed. <clears throat> yeah. And when you're um you know you're tampering with like god and you're going to church and stuff like that the devil is pissing the devil off right so that's when he tries to attack you and i was like fucking hell man how what like makes a bit of sense it does make a lot of if sense if you believe in that shit I, i'm not religious I, i'm gonna put no i'm not i'm not religious at all i'm not but, but it's a great way of I'm thinking like if you if you were if you were the devil you'd be like that's how you would think, right? Yeah, definitely, because you want to stop the ones that are going to... Yeah. 
you want more people coming to your land yeah i suppose so yeah you know yeah yeah but like he's fucking and they also said again i go back to the will smith thing right but he said um he said to will smith if like just after he sort of kicked off he said um he said what did he say yeah i don't know what he, he said, said but I, I have heard it he said <clears throat> um be careful at the moment of greatness the devil will try to get you or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you know, like that. When, the, when you're at your top, yeah, that's when the devil will come. Something like that. Yeah. I was like, fuck. He's like, imagine having that, that many <laughs> the, the, one-liners. Yeah. I would, love, I would love to just go up to people and say, like, whisper something in their ear and like, for them to be like, their life changed. Yeah. All yeah. these perfect one-liners, you know? He's brilliant, he is. He's good. I do like him. Yeah. I like Will, though. I was gutted, mate, if he did that. Not to get into that again. Mm. But yeah, I was gutted about that. Yeah. Definitely. I like, yeah, yeah. It is a shame, mate. Because the thing is I That's think, something I've got I was gonna say I forgot. I forgot. It's gone. Thing is he's like a really good person. Who Will and Smith? You can tell he is. Yeah, yeah. You can tell he's I don't know, I don't know. Really, can you tell? Yeah, well you say that. It's like you're only you're only on seeing what he's put. Yeah, it? that's it, mate. The fucking yeah. media. Yeah. But, what was um, I going to say? It was about a conspiracy theory. Oh, really? Yeah. And that, the conspiracy theory. I can't remember what we were talking about. I've forgotten the conspiracy, mate. The landing on the moon? Oh, no. It was when you said, <laughs> apparently, I saw something today, that we all died in 2012. And you know when you... Oh, the clocks? The, sorry, the, the months? Mayan, the Mayan clock. Like, the Mayan calendar basically Like, 13 says, months? No. The Mayan calendar basically said the end of the world's going to happen in 2012. Yeah, that's 13 months. And apparently it happened. We're all dead now. But what they say is when your life flashes before your eyes, when you die, they reckon your life flashes before your eyes. They reckon that takes seven... No, your brain is still alive when you die for seven minutes. Yeah. That's when your life flashes before your eyes. Yeah. People, because time's relative, that seven minutes could be... Seven years. A hundred years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what we're living in now is just a flashback. We've all died. And everybody's just flashbacking. Well, yeah. Because it, wasn't there something about, like, um, because there's supposed to be 13 months, and the reason why they got rid of the 13th month... I it, did see something about that, mate, because September is set is seven. Right. Yeah. Is it October, October is, is eight? Ocho. Yeah. It's eight. Yeah. So October is not the 10th month. It's really the eighth. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I so so yeah. that apparently there's, there, I, there's, there's 13 months and they got rid of the 13th month for something to do with basically working. Yeah. Yeah. The working. The life. start of the, the start of the year is supposed to be April. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't that's know what I'm going that's with the, that's, this, that's, mate, that's the financial year. <laughs> <laughs> it is for a lot of people. No, I, I think I've seen a video the other day about the same thing that you're on about. So but if could you be wrong, were, if you, something like if you were, um, if you were going by the 13th month, if you were living by 13, because there's, uh, there's countries out there that still live by the 13th, the 13th months. There is. Is it far? Yeah. Google Who? it. Google it. While I'm, I'm Google, talking. Google what? It. Honestly, there's people. I don't know what to Google. Um, who who lives with who um lives by the thirteenth month? Thirteen months. It's not, is there? Yeah, man, there is. So what they're saying is, if we were living at that point in time, the year twenty twenty, when people predicted that we were, the world was going to end, is it twenty twenty? I think twenty twelve. Uh, was it twenty twelve or two thousand? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. When we predicted that the world was going to fucking implode, I think wasn't it twenty two, the year two thousand or something like that, or whatever. Right. We should be approaching it now, or it's just happened. Right. Something, was something like that. If there was thirteen months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and that's why with all the shit that's going on now. Yeah, like that's right. That shit. Yeah. So, Ethiopia. If, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Country where a year lasts thirteen months. Yeah. So that so they're they're in like. They're in 2000 and fucking 12 now. No, 2019. What are they in? What year are they in now? Dude, it says Ethiopia has 12 months of 30 days and a short month of five or six days. What? Depending whether it's a leap year. 
Ethiopian New Year is on September the 11th, except in leap years when it's September the 12th. What the fuck? Crazy. So, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how... Yeah, so basically, we're leading up to the time of when the world's supposed to end. All right. So the theory is when it's everyone... It's pretty was, shit at the minute, the world, isn't it? It is shit, mate. It is And like, shit. you know, and I... I, what I've noticed in the, in the last sort of, I suppose, 10 years is there's always fucking something. It's in your face as well, mate. It, I've, been but, tr- I've been trying to ignore it. Yeah. And you can't. No, you can't. Nah, you no, you can't, mate. And that's what upsets me. But there's always something, isn't there? Yeah, Have you not yeah. noticed that? Yeah, there's like, there's, there's a war, yeah. right? And then a war ends and it, te- like, literally, it, that war doesn't even end. What happens is something else fucking crazy like overshadows that war. Yeah, yeah. That war then tails off and you don't hear about it anymore. And then it's this big thing. Yeah, yeah. And like for the last 10 years, it's always been some fucking big thing. It's like, you know, with the COVID thing, like yeah. nobody fucking talks about that shit anymore no. because it's, you, you know, it, it's, but it's just, all we've heard for fucking two years. Exactly. And then now there's a war. I mean, people, don't get me wrong. People talk, people talk about it, but it's not like in your throat all the time, like down your throat. That's what she said. <laughs> But do you know what I mean? It's like it, 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 it's the fucking it's the war now, and it, yeah. and it's like shit, man. So yeah. what? And it's like I don't know. I fucking hate it. I I I'm, I was um, funny enough. I uh, I was speaking to somebody that was um, he was in the Marines, right, for years, and um, it's actually. He, he he did the sports massage on me, right? Yeah. And he was he was a marine. He was in the army. He was a, fucking God knows what, right? And he he left, and it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the reason why he left, but he said to me, he said he started getting annoyed because he, I mean, he's been in so many different like war, wars, you know. He actually said to me, he said one of the reasons why I left was because. I just disagreed and I was confused as to why there was always wars going on. Like when one would finish, another one would start. Like what was the reason behind it? And he started questioning why. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like a war's made up for the sake of fucking making up a war. You know? Yeah. Like what, what fucking reason now? Yeah. Like can I not just have a break? Yeah. It's like you're gonna go here now. You need to go here now. This war now. This war now. This because of this and this person. This and this. like is that was something. Is that was some bullshit reason? You know. Mm. But I don't want to get into politics. It's fucking, no, no, no I politics is shit. Yeah, I don't. About, I don't get bored of it after about five. Yeah, minutes. and the thing is, I don't. I've never followed politics. You don't and, need to. You just uh, you know, and you can have an opinion on fucking war. Yeah, I fucking hate it. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. You man. can have an opinion on the media. Yeah. The media's got a hell of a lot. The media rules the world, mate. Yeah. They yeah. really do. Well, or they're the pub, they're the ones being what, controlled. What the, the one thing that I would say, if I was just to sort of like put a blanket over the subject of war, what pisses me off is that war starts because of one or two people. And everybody else suffers yeah. because of it. Yeah, yeah. Like just imagine you yeah, yeah. Divide, Deciding, yeah. actually, I'm going to let millions of people die right now. Yeah, yeah. And, like, they're going to have... Like, what? Yeah. What's that all about? It's power and money, mate. Yeah. But the thing is, don't you think to yourself, okay, let's just say this person's got more power than anything ever, ever anybody ever has, and more money than everybody... Well, you, who you, says... You're going to live to 80, 90, like... But who says you can't have a nuke? You know? It's like you go back to the old wars. Oh, no, they've got nukes. You're not... They're not allowed nukes. They're not allowed nukes. Like who? Who? Why not? You fucking got them. Yeah. I yeah. don't like all that shit, mate. I, don't, I hate it all. Oh, we're going to invade because they've got nukes, and we don't think they should have them because he's a nutter. Well, is he a nutter, or do you just you just tell him that he's a yeah, nutter? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It, it's it, it's reasons why to invade and stuff like that. You know, mm. it's it's. You know, the, the whole throw down is protection for protection for our country. And the thing is, like you say, protection, mate. They they should get rid of them all in my eyes. They should be none. Yeah, but how are you going to manage that? It's like who, it's who, like the thing. I, I, if you if guns were legal in the UK, would you have one? No. Why not? 
Well, if someone breaks into your house, mate, they're going to have a gun on them. And you ain't got one. What are you going to do? Just fucking Neo shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Neo. What I'm saying is in time. He's you don't to have to. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I, I get what you're saying. That's the thing. It's that's like the that's the okay thing. then. So, what do you have a fucking do you have a knife by your front door just in case some no. like you know no. chef? You're gonna get chef that blunt. No, no, you know? no. But if guns if guns were legal, then I would have one for protection. I think to protect my family. I would. Yeah. I, I, I suppose but anyway, I, you know, a knife, mate. You know, the chances are if some burglars going to come in, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. The, the thing is, the question you've got to ask yourself is would you be comfortable taking somebody's life? Yeah, if it was them or me, mate. Yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah, if it was them or me. Do you think you'd be able to. Uh, yeah, okay. Or well, them or my. You, it was either them or my kid. Able, okay, that's yeah. fine. Enough. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I respect that. But do you think that you could live with yourself afterwards? Yeah, I don't know. But I'd, yeah. Would the I, 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 doubt... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even think about it, mate. If it was them well, or I me. Know, I know you. You would think about it. I wouldn't at the, in the moment. I don't no, think I no, would. No, no, no. Not at the moment. Wouldn't. If I got up and there's someone in my house and I've. Someone in the fucking house. I've yeah. got a gun next to the bed. I'd fucking pick up my gun and go downstairs. And if I go downstairs and they fucking point that gun at me. I would shoot him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I would. I wouldn't even think about it. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, you wouldn't. You know. But, but then, then mate, it's quite easy. Up this hang on, is. hang on. You say that though. It's very easy to sit here and say, "I'd fucking do that. I'd do that." It's like, or you could be like, like I probably I, I, wouldn't. I, I, I think probably wouldn't shoot. It would be head, more mate. of a case I'd of try and shoot him in the leg. For most people, yeah. For most people, it'd be more of the case of. Like, you're holding up this fucking gun because he's holding a gun at you. In your mind, you'd be like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah. I'm only going to do it if you shoot. Yeah, but by then he could shoot you. Exactly. But that's probably what's going to go for your head because I don't want to do this. This is the first time I've shot a gun. Is he actually, is it gloated? Is it, you know, is he just pretending? Is it a fake gun? All yeah. these things going through your head because you really don't want to pull that fucking trigger. And shoot him in the legs. If you can aim like that, yeah. Yeah, but you, if you had a gun at home, mate, it wouldn't be the first time you've ever shot a gun, would you? You'd make sure you'd be well, up to the fucking there's a lot of people, range and no, stuff. No, there's then. a lot of people that think, yeah. oh, you just fucking point and shoot, you know? Mate, look at the state. The people have been arrested or sent to prison for shooting someone that's in their, inside their house. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, like, I, I've seen, you know, I, I, I've seen, like, CCTV footage of, like, you know, people just getting out of the guns in the street and just going... <laughs> Like, their hands are fucking going everywhere. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? No wonder, no wonder yeah. like, innocent people get shot and stuff. Because, like, it's supposed to be... You really need to, like... It depends on the Hold gun. your fucking... Well, yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like one of these little fucking lackeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah. But there's been stories, mate. Like, one guy, he shot... He, got, he went to prison, mate. There was a burglar in his house. He shot him. The burglar had a gun. Yeah. But he shot him in the back. So he went to prison. Because he shot him in the back, and they said because oh, right, yeah. he was, he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have been attacked. You should have let him leave. Yeah. If you shot him in the back, that means he's leaving. He's going yeah. away from you. You know. Yeah. But he got he got arrested for it. He got sent down. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah, guns is a little bit. I would like to like the thing is, I remember I don't like guns. No, I wouldn't have guns to think. Oh yeah, I fucking love guns. I'd love to shoot them in the range and all that. Yeah, but I, I think if I'd have one for protection if they were legal, because yeah. I'd be so scared that anybody else has got one. Yeah, you know? I mean the funny thing is, is like I saw a TikTok video today, and it came up and it said, "Name one thing that you regret doing when you were younger." Oh. I'll start right, <laughs> and straight away skateboarding. No, 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 no. One action that you've done, like oh. maybe bullied somebody or something like that, right? Straight away it came to me, right. And I was probably, I don't know, about 11. And my mate had an air rifle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And beforehand, I was just like shooting trees and stuff with his rifle, you know, stuff like, you know, the little pellet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I saw this sparrow. Oh, mate, I've had the same experience, dude, with a rabbit. Same yeah. thing. Exactly the same thing. I saw this sparrow up in the tree and I went like that. 
And I knew in my head I was going to miss. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was exactly like, the same I'm going to fucking miss anyway. So I was like, bang. And this Barrow, right? He was like that. I went, bang. And he didn't move. I thought, fuck, that's there you go. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't get it. And it just went, <laughs> just fucking rocked. It was a clean shot through its fucking head. At least you killed it quick. Yeah. Fuck. And I felt so bad. Uh, mate, I'm still thinking about it now. Yeah, well, I'm the same, mate, with a rabbit. I even brought it home. Yeah. Because I had to, I didn't want to kill it. No. I fucking named. I thought, yeah. oh, I'm going to miss anyway. It's miles away. Yeah. Bang. Fucking this rabbit went psycho. Oh. I went, yeah, I went over to it. It was dead. It died quick. But you thought, clearly, I mate. Couldn't, it's like, <laughs> I, I couldn't leave it, mate. I thought, right, well, I'm going to have to eat it. I was like, I can't waste it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I took it home, mate. Crying yourself when you're boiling it up. Yeah. Couldn't skin it. I couldn't skin it, mate, so I just threw it away. Oh, no. I, I couldn't skin you it. You bastard. I know, mate. I felt awful, man. My brother used felt to awful, shoot rabbits really young. all the time. Oh, was, yeah, loads of people shoot rabbits, don't they? But, you know. Yeah. Have you ever tried rabbit? Never eaten it. Haven't you? It's no. right. Yeah, I'd quite like to it's eat quite, it. Um, but apparently like... skinning it, if you go through the guts, it's pretty nasty, mate. It stinks. Like, yeah, but you're supposed to gut it, obviously. Yeah, but I think when you're nicking it, if you're taking the skin off, you skin the rabbit first, and you can take the guts out in one. If you split the gut sack, like the the sack, the... no, you gut it, and then you then you then you skin it. I th no, you skin it before you gut it. I thought, oh, maybe not. No. I don't know. No, because as soon as you kill anything, yeah, but when you're nicking when you're nicking the skin to get into the guts, yeah, if you nick the guts. It lets all the shit oh, out yeah, yeah, and all yeah. the in it. But apparently, it fucking stinks. Yeah, so I've heard, and I couldn't face it. But it's apparently, it. like as soon as you as soon as you kill something, you've got to gut it straight away because it, the acids start building up and it starts leaking inside no, the meat got, and stuff got, like that. You've got a bit of time, mate. You got a bit of time, yeah. But I've much same prefer... with fish. Like certain fish, you have to gut straight away. My missus made fish last night, mate. Fish is lush. Holy fuck! And what she did, but it was it was what my... was it? Um, I, I can't remember. I think it was cod. Yeah, yeah. I think it was cod. Sea bass is my favorite. No, I think it was sea bass. Yeah, sea bass. Sea bass, gosh, man. right? Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> yeah. And she put like um, garlic on it and ginger and all oh, it. Nice, man. It, it was the, the nicest fish out of out of any restaurant I've had. Nice. And I, I like like um, spinach with it and fucking green peas and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said to her, this is absolutely Love banging. Fish. Have you seen that sea spiracy? Sea spiracy on Netflix. What, conspiracy. A, con a conspiracy about sea or uh, about, about the fishing industry. Right, no. Like, uh, if don't watch it. Why? Because you probably not eat fish after. Oh no. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty shocking. Jack, my boy, Jack, he's he stopped eating fish after he saw that. Why? Just because of what if you watched it, mate, watch just it. Because it eats shit. No, nah, just watch it. Just watch it, mate. I ain't gonna see it, mate. Can't go into it too. Why not? Why not? Because I, I got Ozark good. to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. Just a state of the sea. They're just fucking in the sea, basically, mate. Just taking I'm way to, too much. I'm going to have to bleep that out, aren't I? Well, you know what I mean. Pillaging the sea. Yeah. You know, taking too much out. But they actually oh, I reckon. See. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. actually reckon okay, there's, well, that, there's that much pollution in the ocean, plastic yeah. pollution from plastics and microplastics. Yeah. That the benefits now, the health benefits of eating fish are outweighed by the pollution that's inside the meat. Bullshit. Swear to God, mate. Bullshit. Mate. No, it's not bullshit, man. There, it, there's, it's got legs. You look it up. You look no, it fish up. don't have legs, mate. You look it up. <laughs> look it up, man. I, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. No, you I look think it up, that, brother. I think that's a scaremongering tactic. No, it's not a scaremongering tactic. By a certain group. There's a lot of fucking pollution. So much there's a hell of a lot of pollution I know there's a lot of pollution, ocean, mate. I know have you seen the amount a... of plastic in the sea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen it, right? I, but I think that... I think it's going to be more so bad for the fish as opposed to us. No, but they reckon there's so much like like mercury and shit in the sea, in the fish and in the meat and microplastics that you're ingesting. Yeah. Put, your, your, your blood's probably full of plastic mm. just from the fucking pollution, mate. Mm. It's, they, honestly, they reckon the health benefits, the, the damage that you're doing by eating fish now because of the pollution is more damaging than eating the fish the benefits that it gives you from eating it mm, yeah okay but i'd have to counter that i'd have to look at the counter argument well what is the counter argument i don't know i've not, not read up on it that it. it's not uh, yeah, well yeah 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 there has to be a counter argument it's like the old vegan thing 
where they say, oh, you know, when you're eating meat, you're killing these animals and stuff. But like, then the argument is, you will... you can get all the benefits you need from eating, not eating. No, 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 no. The argument is you're actually killing more animals um, by going vegan because of you're killing X amount of bumblebees and all this, like, right. you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Which yeah. has a knock-on effect for everything. So there's always a counter-argument for everything. Yeah, yeah. You know? I don't... So that fish thing, I mean, I, I get it and I understand it because I've heard about this plastic, like, you know, facial creams and, and toothpaste have got these plastics in it and stuff like that. You can't see microfiber plastic. It's not just the plastic, you know, like the exfoliating yeah, yeah, bits. Yeah. It's yeah. not that. Like bottles and shit what like it, that, yeah. What it means by microplastic is you can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's microscopic. Well, that's why. That's... And they reckon it's fucking rife, man. Yeah, well, that's why I don't, I've gone from, well, to be fair, I've always... I went from table salt when I was younger. And oh, I, here we I, go about the fucking salt. What? <laughs> it's fucking pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt. <laughs> right? I fucking vouch by it. Drink salt, Mace. No, I won't. I won't drink salt. Drink I'm... pink Himalayan no. salt. No. Water. No. Every no. fucking morning, I'm telling you. I won't drink salt. Not drinking salt. Well, that, 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 you're being quite stubborn. Am I? Yeah. All right. Because I'm trying to help well, you out. Well, what's the counter argument? There's no fucking counter argument. There's a counter, counter argument to everything you just said. What's the counter okay, argument? The counter argument is if you have too much, I suppose. Right. If you have too much salt. And how much is too much? Well, fucking this doctor says have a teaspoon. Which doctor? A fucking is he, doctor. Is he a real doctor? He's got a doctor. He's in... a doctor in Himalayan salt, or is he like a doctor in like? Has he studied it, or is he like? Is he qualified to no. be talking about the salt? Well, if he's a doctor, <laughs> yeah, I would imagine he is, like, knowing that I you need salt. salt. Like you need salt, but you get it from your food. Not enough, yeah, and not I the disagree. right salt. Again, so how this, come they say you can have too much to... salt in your diet and get heart attack? Because it's the wrong fucking salt, dude. It's the wrong salt. The table salt, yeah. right? That so, should be eliminated. I would, that table salt is full of that, like I would, chemicals I would. and shit, right? But hear me out. So the sea salt, which I thought, which is really good, but to be fair, it is a lot better yeah. than the table salt. That sea salt has got those plastic micro, uh, micro. Um, uh, Microplastic. Plastics in it. Okay. So you shouldn't really have that. The pink Himalayan salt has got zero. Reason being is because it comes it, from the land. No. It com it comes from it comes from a place that used to be in water. There's right. not anymore before plastic was invented. The Himalayas. Yeah. So Yeah, the yeah. mountains. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it used to be on the sea. Yeah. So it, it's it's uninfect in, infected by any sort of man made substance. Yeah. That's why it's really good for you. I would do so it. Listen, listen. <clears throat> so basically, it's a, it, like I saw a while ago a, 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 another doctor, right? It, it, all about killing cancer by having a high salt diet. Yeah, but you've all, I've already seen a, the one about the pH diet and all that, like having the right body pH mm. that also fights cancer and all that. It won't, yeah. it won't grow in a alkaline Al no well, alkaline is it's alkaline because no, the sugar and yeah, stuff yeah, like that and all the nasty yeah, shit yeah, is yeah. acidic isn't it yeah yeah so it's so, alkaline so yeah it won't grow in alkaline it's acidic that they grow in there yeah 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 i've also heard that argument but no that's true yeah well if you say but, it's true it can't you know if it was true how come everyone doesn't know about it you know you know what I mean? If it's that simple, you you keep your body above seven point five pH, well, look, and we, you won't get we, cancer. We, we could go. Every, into... Everyone would be like, "I'm fucking doing that." You know? Why but, is it not common knowledge? Because I think that <clears throat> I think that there's a lot that goes into. Um, it, it, I suppose it's a subject I don't really go into. No, because, I don't either. because. Like, I have my certain views on, like, how, like, for, for example, charities, certain charities, like, where money goes to on charities, where money goes to for cancer research, where money goes to for this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah? Mm. I have my, 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 my thoughts and my ideas and theories on, on that. Yeah. Where I think that if, if, every, if every cause and every um, charity was 100% like straight down the line. Yeah. The world would be a better place. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, where, where there's, 
I think that where there's a loss, somebody's making a gain. Where somebody's making a gain, somebody's making a loss. And but you know, back and forth. So like, I suppose when it comes down to like the, the cancer of things and stuff like that, um, I suppose because there's, there's so many different cancers. It's like it's, you can't be like, oh, this cancer just drinks fucking loads of salt water and that'll help you. I mean, it's different types, you know. But I, I do like I do um, believe in like certain remedies, like natural remedies that we don't use that could fight off shitloads of fucking ailments that we've got. But yeah. we don't use them because there's too much money. Yeah. Too much money to like the made. dandelion. Fucking dandelion, mate. I'm telling you. That's good. Dandy dandelion root. The root. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the whole fucking dandelion. But the roots is the best place. The, the da- mate, I'm telling you. A close memory. What, what's, the, what's the conspiracy about? There's a conspiracy. The people that make the weed killer. What's that? Fucking... But let, let me just hear you. Let me like, hear me out about the fucking yeah. dandelion, right? Because a very close fam- family member of mine got diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. Okay. And I said to that person, go all out on fucking dandelion roots and shit, okay? You can get the, get the medicines, like the, the capsules, okay? Yeah. But I'd much rather go in the fucking garden and dig that shit up, clean it, and eat it. Yeah. It, like, I, would be, I would be like a fucking rabbit. I don't care. If, the, if there's the smallest amount of hope that that shit works, I'll do it. Well, she did. She did it, mate. She's, to be fair, she had the fucking tablets. Now, she's clear now. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You know, it could have been yeah. like, yeah, you know, yeah. other things, like the medical things that like, helped her towards, but it could have been the Danny Lions. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, man, I really think like there's, there's always some fucking root out there. Yeah. <clears throat> there's got, but then again, you say about that. It might not have fuck all to do with the dandelion root. It might just be mind over matter. And because they were taking the dandelion root, probably thinking, that's going to oh, help me. Oh, absolutely. Power of the mind. All absolutely. that shit. The placebo that. effect. Yeah. Because yeah. you know? yeah. there's legs to that. Right. Anyway. Yeah. What were you saying about... You I, said... can't, I can't remember now. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, the weed killer. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's a conspiracy theory about the dandelions. Right. Apparently, about the weed killers and cancer or something. There's a, I can't remember what it is, though, mate. Something with the company that makes the weed killer is the same company that makes that does something else. Makes a cancer medicine or something. I can't remember. Oh, what? can't remember, mate. You love your conspiracy. Yeah, I you? fucking love your conspiracy. <laughs> Not because I, I like to... I, like, I believe the alternative view. I just love hearing everybody's thoughts... On what else yeah. it could be, yeah. Because yeah. I'm a big, but I don't like believing everything that I see on the in the media. No, I don't. I'm a it's massive. Default. I hate the media. Yeah. Because instantly, everyone's just like, "Oh, it's on the fucking news." Yeah. But it's like my old man. It's it like, must be true. It's on the fucking it's news. On the fucking news. Yeah. It's a fucking BBC. Well, but you and me like, both falling out of family members because of that shit. Yeah. I was like, yeah. well, they're telling you one story. Mm. Why don't you believe what this other guy's saying? Yeah. <laughs> Because it's fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. The thing is, like, and that's the thing, like, you know, uh, I, and this is the beauty of this podcast, is because there's a certain part of me now, in the back of my head, I know that when the cameras are stopped and rolling, we're going to have a conversation. Should we keep that in? I know we're going to have a conversation about this. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it might upset some people. It might, especially when we're talking about cancer and stuff like that. And especially when we're talking about this and that and that. Yeah, but mate, no, I, 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 cancer, everybody has lost someone to cancer, mate. Yeah. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion on cancer. Yeah. I think I wouldn't hold it against anybody if they told me I'm a twat. No, you're wrong. You shouldn't say that shit. I'd be like, whatever, you say what you want. I'll yeah. say what I want. Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing. And this is what I was going to say. This is the beauty about the podcast because, like, it is our opinions, and we might not be yeah, right. Man. We might not be wrong. Yeah, it, it, it is literally our opinions. We've got no medical background. No, we're literally. But I'd love it if there was a doctor here a now, fucking great, saying, "Oh no, it's this. It's yeah. this. Oh, this yeah. is why the dandelion's good because it gives you a higher pH. So that yeah. might, you know, it could be anything. But the benefits of dandelions, mate, I, I've read them out to you, right? I know that yeah, I know they're good shit. I've seen I've seen like the dried root. 
I've seen the dried root. You can buy the dried root and do something with it. I don't know what they do with it. There's yeah. benefits to loads of shit out there, mate. It's <laughs> like that shilajit, you know, that I that I've took, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's supposed to have crazy benefits. So it's like this. But you didn't do it right, though, dude. I did do it right, but I didn't do it for long enough. Okay, so here's some of the benefits of um uh, a dandelion root. You don't drink enough salt, eh? Fuck. <laughs> you just mate. said I did my shilajit right. You don't drink enough salt, mate. How much pink Himalayan salt do you have? Not enough, fella, man. I've stopped drinking. No, I can tell, mate. You're looking ill. <laughs> <laughs> May support healthy digestion and uh, treat co uh, constipation. Oh. May boost. It, I love it the way you say may. May. Right? Yeah, may. May boost immune health, immune system. Okay. Um, Look at that. Look at fucking hell, man. May help Listen, cancer. No, no, no. I've literally got, I'm, I'm looking at this now and a, an advert's popped up. Okay. Weed killer. No, no, no. I'm fucking no, no. no. Of, let me just show. Can I show that? Yeah. This is the Warriors basketball t-shirt, which I bought the other day. Right. And that is the Boston Celtics t-shirt. Right. That I bought the other day for my, my, my missus' dad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's just Target it's advertising, funny, like, mate. Um, that's pretty cool. Maybe useful for skincare treatment. May support healthy bones. May though, why may? But because they don't want to say it because they've run out of fucking money for the medicines. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Fucking... Dosage and supplement forms. Um, uh, hang on, seven, oh, it's a twenty-four. I'm a, I'm a big believer though, mate. But for every illness on this earth, there's a cure for it. Definitely. On the earth. Yeah. There has to be. There has to be, mate. Yeah. Or, well, if there's not, it's yin, yin and yang, isn't it? Yeah, I, th I yeah, I believe, I, I believe you, but no, that's not the right list because then it started going into other things. Unless it's the next. Page. I can't wait to start getting guests on, mate. The chat and uh, yeah. find out on their opinions. I wonder if we're getting we just... a bit bored of you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> should we I'm fucking sick of talking to you? Should, should we ask a doctor to come on? So we can ask him legit questions about this shit. Yeah, could do, mate. He might be like, oh, it's above my pay grade. <laughs> hey? Yeah. But the thing is, the problem is about having a general doctor. Oh, not, not specialists in get, certain areas. Get an areas, alternative right? medicine doctor. Yeah, yeah, mate. Like someone who's into, or herbal, herbal, herbal doctor or someone yeah. who's into all that shit, you know? Yeah. Because they might. Get Snoop Dogg in they it. Might yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he pays someone to roll his J's, man. Oh, does he, Al? Does, he does. He does. Google it. I'm not going to Google it. You're the one who says you hate the media and you're saying, yeah, Google it. He does. No, it's not come from the media. It came straight from his mouth, mate. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked him on an interview, and he was like, yeah. And he, he had them in the backstage, mate. There's someone, he pays them. Their job is to roll his joints. Unbelievable. Oh, well, I don't know. Snoop Dogg. I love Snoop Dogg, man. <laughs> he's going to be in the, uh, is it, am I right in thinking he's going to be in the new um, Warzone season? What? I saw a clip. I've, I've oh. also heard that there's going to be a subscription. What? You've got to pay a monthly subscription for Warzone. Oh, fuck that. Mate, you say fuck However, that. it might get rid of a the lot cheaters. of the cheaters, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'll be fucked. Well, you'll be fucked, mate, with <laughs> your aimbot and your wall hack. Just one shot, just one shot. 21 kills. <laughs> oh, man. There's a guy on TikTok, man. His videos are amazing. Yeah. With Warzone, yeah. He does silly things like... And there's like... Have you seen I him? saw it. Bloop, yeah. you know? <laughs> I saw it today. I was crying, man. I saw earlier. it, yeah. Yeah. I saw it today. Mate, I think we watch the same fucking... I remember scrolling well, through TikTok. I think we watch the same shit. Yeah. I think it's location-based. No, I think, remember I told you, it's about, um, what did I see? I think, that's funny enough, I think I saw a TikTok video of someone saying things you didn't know about whatever. Like, no, it, was, it said, you think that the phone is listening to you. In fact, it doesn't even have to. Something like that. Right. Whereas, like, it knows now our phones are close to each other right. and it remembers that, okay, that's t twice this week his phone's been with, the, with Mace's phone. Yeah, yeah. So and it then goes, the same I, I, shit. so the technology, the AI goes, I presume they're good friends. Yeah, yeah. Right? So then, fucking better so if I'm talking about, friends. if I'm talking about something, <laughs> right, chances are 
we've spoken about it. Mm. So if I'm saying I'm going to go to Barbados, yeah, yeah, you might get a Barbados fucking thing, yeah, you know. So that's 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 another sort of. It's not even a conspiracy. I think that shit's fact. No, it is fact. It is fact. It's targeted advertising. Yeah. They're definite. I don't know. If, I didn't know that if they're close to each other, maybe it does link you. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I know for a fact with targeted advertising, mate. Yeah. I've actually tried it with the Amazon, the Alexa. Oh, yeah. Me and the missus tried it. Oh, yeah. You took it back. I didn't take it back. I sold it. I sold it on eBay. Because of that, right? Yeah, yeah, man. And not only that, bro, right? But I, was, I was in bed upstairs and I'm two floors up. I'm in the loft, right? There's two doors mm. in between. And I was talking to my missus about Alexa. Yeah. Just like this. And I said Alexa like this. And downstairs it went. Ba-doom. Yeah. It was it heard me say Alexa two floors up through two doors. <laughs> I must be fucking some sensitive mic. Yeah. But why did you get rid of it? Because I didn't like the fact that it was listening and it hadn't told me that it was listening. What what shit are you talking about that you're a bit secretive of? Nothing, but I just don't. I, that's it. I, <laughs> I just don't give a fuck where it's listening I just, to. I just, I just I'm didn't talking like about. It. I mean, listen, let's listen to look at the stuff that we're fucking talking about. Yeah, as yeah. if Alexa gives a shit that we're no, talking no, about no, fucking if, daffodil roots. And I'm with dan- you, mate. You know what I mean? But if they said at the start, it will listen to you yeah. and it will show you targeted adverts depending on what it hears you talking about. Yeah, I I might agree to it because you sort of you do with you like what you've just shown me on the phone with those t-shirts. Yeah, does that anyway? Yeah, cookies, all that shit. But in yeah. some way, isn't it a good thing? Like, you, how many times you've gone? Oh shit, I was looking for that. Yeah, but if I knew how it worked, mate. If they said, "Oh yeah, it's going to listen." It's voice a recognition. Com- a computer's going to analyze and then target ads. Mm. But if it said, "No, we're going to hire someone to listen through these recordings," and no, then, mate. I mean, how and many then put you, you know, millions of I people in like the world. That. You'd have to have fifty percent of the population. Yes, right. Just My so job's that. Mace. Right. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, he oh, he's up. He's up. Oh, I'm fucking on call. Mace is up. <laughs> right, what's he listening to? Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be AI, isn't it? Voice recognition. Yeah, yeah. You know. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Hey? Don't, say, don't say bomb. <laughs> no, bomb, 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 Remember bomb. that. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. you said they're listening. You know, like as soon as they say bomb, your phone starts recording. <laughs> Oh, remember right. when we had all that issue with like I thought twin you meant, towers and like, all that shit? I thought you were talking about. Um, it was on a movie. I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, if I could, that's um, that meet is, the fuckers. They, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? It said bomb and a. Uh, you can't say bomb and a plane. Yeah, yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, what's the time? It's getting on. Fucking hell! It's twenty to ten. We call it at night. Yeah, let's do it, mate. Two hours, good little fucking. Fuck me, is it? Two hours, mate. Yeah. And we were thinking to ourselves, what are we going to talk about? You might have to edit it. It's two hours. Fucking hell. Two hours. It's a long time. Yeah. All right. Well, first podcast, numero uno. Intro. Next Down. one is guests. Yes. And it's going to be. You're going to say when it's going to be? So it's who it's going to be? When? Um, it's not going to be next week. Yeah, so that's, that's my fault. Well, it depends on when I upload this. Week after that. Yeah. Yeah. I might upload this next week. Yeah. Just so then it's, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. One, so it's like one a week. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, right. maybe not. I might be too excited. I might just put this up to see how it goes. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're going to have to edit it. All right, dude. Bang. To bang. Big love. Oh, right. Oh, I need a piss as well, mate. Yeah, man. Dying for a piss. That was good, man. Yeah, mate. Whiskey's fucking nice as well.